This farm right here goes ahead and makes me 20 billion coins in just a single day, and it only takes around 30 minutes to go ahead and build. Okay, so we're on a brand new save slot on my alt, and we're gonna actually go ahead and actually start bu building this actual wood farm. So this farm is a hickory farm, and what we've actually got to go ahead and do to start off with is building far down. And now the reason why we actually have to go ahead and build down is because it actually makes it so we actually don't take as long to respawn, and we actually respawn a lot faster to get to the back to cutting trees. So this is why we actually have to go and do this. So if we actually go ahead and go down by one block as you can see you will go ahead and respawn now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just build up by like let's say 10 or 7 blocks so just so then we're actually not at the death point and we're actually just a little bit above since it's annoying to build at the death point so one two three four five six seven eight we'll just go ahead and do eight and now we can actually go ahead and start by building the farm Okay, so we've actually got the basis of the farm out right now. Now, what we're actually going to go ahead and firstly do is we're going to actually go ahead and place a tier 2 conveyor here. Now, this can be tier 1s, but tier 2 is just going to make you faster, so therefore it's better. But if you don't have the money for it, just go and use tier 1s until you can make up the money. But then what we're going to head and do is place a block up there. And now we're actually going to go ahead and build these conveyors out by 150 blocks. So, yeah, we're just going to have to go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and continue building the rest of it okay so we've just gone ahead and built this out by 150 blocks now we're gonna go ahead and reset and jump back down now we've actually got to place 150 grass out going that way so yeah pretty much you can just use this conveyor as a guidance and then you've got to go ahead and do it where one of my friends is standing there and then you got to go ahead and do it down there okay and there we go we've actually gone ahead and built everything out by 150 blocks so now we actually have to go ahead and actually place all the saplings. Okay, so for this farm, you can go ahead and use oak or you can go ahead and use hickory, what we're going to be going ahead and doing, but if you actually want a pine or birch farm, you can go ahead and join the Discord server, what's actually my friend's Discord server, where he can actually go ahead and build this farm for you, and you can actually go ahead and get the blueprint from his Discord server. So basically, you can get the design and you can just copy it from there. Okay, so now we're actually going to go ahead and just place all the saplings on all of these three grass rows. Okay, so we've actually gone ahead and completed the farm, but we've actually got one more step to go ahead and do, is actually placing totems in order for you to actually go ahead and one-shot these trees, because as you can see, it actually takes like six hits for me to actually go ahead and destroy this tree with a void maddock and level 86 in wood cutting. Now, the wood cutting skill level is going to depend on how much you need to upgrade in the totems, but I'm going to go over that in a little bit, but what we're going to actually have to go ahead and do is actually place underneath right down here and then we're actually going to go ahead and place the first one 12 blocks from this little point right here and then we've actually got to place the other ones 24 blocks apart. Also, I've actually got in the description the actual checklist on what you actually fully need for this farm with all the items needed and everything like that. So if you don't know like how much you need and stuff like that, then go ahead and check the description for that checklist. Also, the totems can be any kind of mining totem, so it can be a stone totem, a coal totem, any kind of that style of totem, so pretty much if you search totem, it just can't be a crop one, it can only be the kind of stone, like the ones that you can mine. Okay, so we've actually just gone ahead and placed all of the totems here. So pretty much the first set of totems right here is 12 blocks away from this point, And then every other one is 24. But then at the end, you just go ahead and after this one, you just go ahead and build whatever blocks it takes until you get to the last, like, until you get to the end. So basically, it doesn't really matter the last one. You just go ahead and place it like this. So with this totem upgrading, what you're going to go ahead and do is open the like totem and then you're gonna click upgrade and then you're gonna upgrade every single one to level 20 utility and then you're pretty much just gonna test by mining trees around you so once all of them are level 20 you just test and then if it's not one shot yet you go ahead and up it by one level then you test again if it's still not one shot you up it by another level and etc until you get to a number where you just one shot it so pretty much what I've got is two 24s and two 23s and I am level 86 in wood cutting but yeah just 
go ahead and mix and match with it. If you're already one-shotting when you're at level 20, try go 19, but I doubt it will work, but just go ahead and test with this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you're just gonna repeat it for every single one of these totems. Also, with the list below on what you actually need, this can change on how much you actually upgrade your totems by it. So, if, if you actually upgrade them by 20, you're gonna actually only, like, not use as much as that. But if you're gonna be upgrading them to maybe 28 or something like that, you're gonna be using a lot more. Okay, so we've gone ahead and actually finished all the totems, and don't worry about the coal spawning there. It's not really needed. You can go ahead and mine the in-between grass blocks, but I'll just leave it. It doesn't really matter. But what we've actually gotta go ahead and do to finish this farm is by placing a vending machine just two blocks off to the left and then we've actually got to go ahead and place an obby flag now if i go ahead and reset we want to actually be facing a certain way now the reason why we want to actually be facing a certain way is so we actually don't get stuck at the end so as you can see i just fixed it so we're actually facing this way um and not facing it like this because i'll show you what happens when you face the other way now as you can see uh, facing this way would be like normal but if i face like that I will get stuck. Now, if I go ahead and face this way, I will go ahead and fall normally. So you want to be facing this way. It doesn't overly matter if you're facing on your side, but it, it is just a lot better for you to be facing forwards and a lot easier. But yeah, now pretty much all you can go ahead and do is go ahead and download Tiny Task, or if, and if you don't want to actually download Tiny Task, you can go ahead and just use an auto clicker and just sit here. Now, it's going to be a lot slower, but you are going to just sit here and not, like, you're not going to need anything. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and watch YouTube or anything while you're actually going ahead and farming, you can actually go ahead and hold down click, click escape, then go ahead and let go of your finger, then you can click escape again. Now, you're auto mining. Now, if I actually go ahead and click alt tab, I am going to go to a different tab, and I'm going to be continuous mining. Uh, I'm frozen. Oh, I disconnected. Great. <laughs> Okay, so we've actually gone ahead and installed Tiny Task. I'm not gonna link that in the description because I don't want to give you a virus, but just go ahead and search tinytask.com. And now my friend actually has, he uses another program called Pullover's Macro Cradle, where you can go ahead and search up on my channel and show you how to use that. But if you actually want to go ahead and get a free version where pretty much it just has all of the things already in there, you can go ahead and join his Discord server, what I mentioned before, and actually go ahead and download that macro so you can just go ahead and use that. But I'm actually gonna show you how to use Tiny task since I actually prefer that. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do, just enter the vending machine, then zoom out as far as possible, put the mouse a little bit ahead, then we're gonna face this way, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is reset, click F8, then we've actually gotta go ahead and quickly go ahead and hold shift, sprint, and then just hold down click. So let's go ahead and reset, click F8, hold shift, and then go like this. Now we're just gonna go all the way to the end, and then once we've gone to the end, we can go ahead and pretty much do this one more time just so it doesn't mess up. And now if we go ahead and click record here, then we can click F12 and it should actually start playing this. And you're just gonna move your mouse here. And now I am not touching my keyboard whatsoever and it is just mining this automatically for me. Now let's just go ahead and see how this plays out when we get to the end. And yeah, it seems to be all working perfectly fine. And yeah, you know, you can just leave this all overnight and you will come back to a bunch of wood and made 20 billion coins. So really good farm in my opinion. But yeah, this is the whole farm. So yeah, this makes 20 billion coins in just a day. So yeah, go ahead and sell all of the hickory wood you make to any shops but you would make more if you sell it at your own, so go ahead and buy Pro Pass. but if you don't, then just go and sell it to shops. You can sell this, you can sell wood at the moment for up to 30, 4,000 coins each, I'm pretty sure, at your own shop, and you can probably find shops actually buying it for maybe 20,000 or more. But yeah, this is the whole farm, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and build my red bronze farm, go ahead and click up here and join my friend's Discord server to go ahead and get the layout and everything for this farm.